Hello Aquarius, it's Erica. Today we're going to do your love story. We're going to see what is going on with you and your love story. This is going to be a timeless reading, so it's not date specific. And we will see what is going on. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And certainly cross watchers, it can be in the reverse. And it's general, so won't don't won't apply to everybody. So don't make it fit if it doesn't. Do check out your other readings and your other placements to um, if this one does not resonate. And if you have not checked out my 2021 series, if you're curious about what's coming in because you're ready to be done with 2020, the link down below to check out that video series is um, in the description box. So let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius, in your love story. We have the new moon in Sagittarius. We have you are close to achieving your goal. Followed by expecting powerful change and the answers you need are coming. So there's something here where there's been a twist of fate, something good that's happened that has made you feel like you're kind of getting somewhere. You're getting somewhere close where you've wanted to be and there's big changes on the horizon. And for some of you, this will entail um, finally having some sort of information or communication coming in that you've been waiting for and you've maybe felt it coming you don't know when you don't know how you don't know what even for some of you but there's um, something big that's changing in your world here Aquarius so let's actually get a card here on this new moon in Sagittarius and we have the strength card interesting so you've been waiting on some sort of a lucky break and you're much stronger than you realize and things are getting ready to manifest. You're going to be successful and there is this big change coming in. And when we're getting the three of wands, it's something you've been waiting on. You are, um, it's like you've, You've been really hoping and wishing for something to come in here. You know your your luck is changing. And let's get a card of the answers you need are coming. And we're getting the Queen of Pentacles. So there's success here. You could be looking towards the future. Because this is about planning for the long term and being very sincere and being sensible as well. So you could be having communication here with somebody that either you are um, in a commitment with already or you want to be in a commitment with. It's a very interesting reading already. So you could be having a communi communicate again with the queen of pentacles coming in on the answers you need are coming. There could be, again, this is something that is, um, you could already be in a commitment with this person because it's the queen of pentacles or want to open up communication with somebody that you're very sincere about someone who's very kind and loving so let's see what um their energy is towards you what is their energy towards you So we have the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. So you know they It looks like they really want, they're put, they want to put in the effort here. They want to put the work in. They want to, they want to, you know, be focused on it. They could be very focused on their own career at the moment because they do have this feeling of worthiness or lack of worthiness here. Um, they could be going through some transitions in their personal life.
They could be moving. They could be changing jobs. Let me get a card on the five of pentacles and the five of wands. Wow. So there's a lot of change happening for this person where they could be um, conflicted, uncertain, feeling unworthy here. They could be worried about money for sure. They could be wanting to be with you, but feel like they don't have enough money. Maybe they are um, having to deal with some conflicts. Let me see why they have the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. Yeah, they're really working hard to be able to come towards you in some capacity. But they're, they're in the process of making the changes. And they have, okay. They could be letting go of another relationship right now and dealing with the heartbreak and all of the changes that come from ending a relationship. But they they do want to to start something with you here. They do. There's, um, and they're putting the effort in, they're doing what they can, but it does look like they may be leaving another situation behind and they're dealing with all of the changes. Let's get a card on the five and the five and the two. Yeah. They're trying to balance things. They're trying to like, Um, again, a lot of money energy here. So that's only going to be for some of you. Let's see what your energy is towards them. We'll get some more to the story. What is your energy towards them? So we have the five of swords and we have the 10 of pentacles. Followed by the Knight of Pentacles. Followed by the Ten of Wands. Wow. So. You could be focusing on. Like you could be disappointed that things didn't turn out the way that you had anticipated. Um, Wow, I'm getting in a strong storyline coming in right now. It's like flooding in quickly and it's not going to apply to all of you. But I do feel like for some of you, you're trying to build up the courage to end a relationship and tell the person because you're ready for your new life. And this could be bringing them heartbreak. And they could be left uncertain, like what's going on? I didn't, I'm surprised. And then you could just be like really regretting and sad that it didn't work out. But at the same time, you're having to take the steps you need to take to be happy, to let go of your burdens. Yeah, for some of you, it's like you're looking towards the future. You're planning where you want to go. You're making major changes in your life. You're sad that things didn't work out. But it's over. It's done. And you're taking the steps finally. Get a card on the uh, Ten of Wands for you. Yeah, Two of Swords. Yeah, you're you're you've been trying to make this decision to end it. Wow, this just turned for uh, into a very specific reading. So, um, and let me see why the Five of Five of uh, Cups is here. The Six of Cups. I said swords here, but it's the cups. Um, I can't tell with these, with these little symbols on these cards sometimes. <laughs> it's a relatively new deck to me, so apologies. But there are no accidents in tarot. But... Yeah, when I'm getting the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups, it's like you, you might be romanticizing and what 
the way things used to be. You might be having some nostalgia, but it does feel like it's over here and you're making this decision. And the Knight of Pentacles is getting, uh-huh, the wise counselor, the hierophant. So again, for some of you, this is leave, this is turning into making the changes to leave a situation and to finally end it. Let's get the guidance for you, Aquarius. Okay, so we're getting hope, goddess, and support. Okay, the worst is, is behind you. Look up to the light and stay positive, Aquarius. Because this is about connecting to what you deserve, honoring your divine feminine energy, asking for help, and asking for support and nurturing yourself. So, yeah, that just turned quickly, Aquarius, but it became super clear. Sometimes with Aquarius readings, they're a little bit like this, and then suddenly it's like, boop, instant clarity. And that's what happened here today. So with that, guys, um, I hope that this helps. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.